let's take a look before we get started today. I want to show you the algorithm uh, that uh, that's producing these setups, and then also the strategy. I've got a lot of work done on the strategy yesterday, um, uh, so uh, we're getting ready to release the indicator and strategy to you, all you traders out there. I'm going to go over that this morning also in this video. Let's take a look. Let's walk through uh, the whole entire session yesterday up to today just to see what type of setups that we, we have uh, from yesterday and today. So this, this is the entire session. Um, let me get this off here one second so I can blow it up. Uh, price line. There we go. So this is the entire session we'll look at of all the setups that happened for the entire trading day from midnight all the way to uh, today as we speak. So we look at November 1st going into the trading day. We have two zones. We have our, our red zones and our green zones by these lines. Um, these were tested over a 30-year period uh, using a um, one of our, uh, our members, uh, Tina. Uh, thank you so much for doing that for us. Um, we tested these zones over a 30-year period um, and we found that these to be the best zones to reverse price. So what I did is um, I added four setups to these zones, my proprietary zones, uh, to find where we can enter the market on high probability setups for any market. Then this is any futures, stocks, Forex, works on currency, crypto markets, it works on Bitcoin, wh whatever, you know, whatever that markets that are tradable, these same setups apply. So we have um, uh, our standard, before we get rolling today, after with news coming out at 8.30, we have our standard red zones, that meaning we're looking to short, right? And then we have our green zones where we're looking to buy. And so what this does, this new indicator uh, that I have for you traders, uh, you can dictate what you want to do. So if you look on my new indicator um, right here, it shows that, you, there's a first wave setup that that means if you go from red zones to green you're looking for the first wave setup this arrow will fire automatically for you and you'll have an audible alert that goes on your computer when that fires so if you just wanted the first wave setup you would check this if you wanted just a slingshot which I'll go over you would check that one um, you wanted just the momo you would check that one and if you wanted the failure trade you'd check that one if you just wanted one of them, you would just check this. It would only show slingshot trades on your computer. If you just wanted failure trades, you would click failure trades. It would only show failure trades um, that way. So if you wanted all of them, you would just, you know, you can click whatever ones you want. So in the room, I don't show Momos. Uh, I, I just show first wave slingshots and failure trades with an audible alert on your computer. Now we have a strategy that we're building that, 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 that emulates what where the arrows fire. So I'll show you that in a second. Um, we, I made a lot of progress on the strategy emulating where these arrows fire. I'll go over that in a second. Uh, so this is the indicator you guys will get though um, with the toggle switch on an alert system where you can alert getting in uh, when you want to get in. Uh, uh, these arrows will fire when these four setups come up. So there's four setups we use. Let's, let's go through the four setups yesterday that came through. Uh, this is a first wave slingshot that came in uh, at 3.53 in the morning. We went to another slingshot, went to momentum trade. Uh, and then relevant in the morning session, we had a lot of back-to-back -back trades that worked out quite well. This is the 120 Rinko that, fire these, uh, that fires these setups. This is a one 2020 Uni Rinko. It's my little uh, spin on using Rinko bars. Uh, I came up with this uh, Rinko size I like to use. So um, when you see well, what is a first wave slingshot? A first wave is simply going red to green. You're looking for the first push up, the first retracement down, but I want it with a slingshot. A slingshot, I have two signal lines below. I got a thin line and a thick line. The thin line, once it gets below 20 and comes back up through my threshold of 65.80, you'll get an arrow that fires. That's a slingshot. You're getting a, 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 like a rubber band pullback, and then it, it comes, let go of the rubber band, and you get price that follows through. 
So we had a slingshot, first wave slingshot here that fired this arrow live for you yesterday. These are all that fired in the room for you yesterday. Had another slingshot, S&P moved up well there. And then I had a failure trade. Now failure trades are against trend. So three of my setups, these three setups are with zone trend. Let's make sure we get this correct in our head. We get our mind right. So the first wave is with zone trend, meaning green or red zones. Slingshots with zone trend. Momo with zone trend. The only one against zone trend is failure trades. Uh, failure trades, what they're trying to do is they're trying to cap, uh, capture uh, traders that are along the market and trying to get a reversal. There, It's an early reversal indication. Now, what you can do if you don't want to trade the failure trade is I call this a trap trade. In a trap trade, if you see a failure trade come up and it flips right to a slingshot immediately without breaking the zone, this is a trap trade that really has a lot of energy behind it. It happens a lot in the NQ during the day. The NQ, you'll probably see three, four, five, six setups like this were traps. It happened on the CL yesterday. You'll see price just tend to explode out of that level because they get trapped from the failure trade. So even if you didn't want to trade the failure trade, you can have it on there firing an arrow against trend, knowing if you go from a failure and it doesn't break zone right into a slingshot, you're trapping. This is a trap. This is a trap. Whether it's a liquidity grab. So this is a liquidity grab, and you'll see it just explode in price. It happens, I'll show you in the NQ a lot. Um, in fact, a lot of traders that when I educate about this trade, they will watch this trade. Uh, they'll watch for a failure arrow to fire, and they'll wait for that zone hold and another arrow, and this would be a nice little entry to get that trap trade because what happens is it's a liquidity grab. All your stops are resting above here. It's a, it's a natural a price acceleration, these buy stops hit, and you'll see the price just accelerate straight up or straight down like it does on the NASDAQ a lot. So if I see a failure go right into a slingshot, that is a propulsion in price that that like to see. Now, the failures that actually start moving down and break the lower zone, these failures are nice to look for a first wave Momo or a first wave slingshot. So these are failures that actually kick in, right? So this is the failure that actually kicked in. Like this failure went from, uh, what, 25 and 3 quarters, and it got as low as, what, 21 and a quarter. So it's a nice little small trade there. But what I like the most is a failure slingshot combo where it doesn't break the zone. And, and I know from, from order flow that I got buy stops resting above this swing high, that this price should accelerate to the upside. So I like this combo, even if you don't want to trade the failure. I like having them up to see when it fires off, and then the next slingshot should propel. This is a failure where it kicked in really hard yesterday. The arrow fired in our room. Um, this is where it actually broke the zone, and it, it crashed pretty hard. But this is another first wave, green to red. Momo, because my oscillators are both below 65, so that arrow fired if you have the, the Momo trade on. Uh, the next trade was a slingshot. Oscillator got above 80, crashed through my bear 40 uh, and 20, arrow fire there. Um, then, we get a, then we get a trend chain slingshot, trend chain slingshot, first wave Momo down, failure trade, slingshot. This failure just kicked in. This was just a beautiful failure trade. It kicked in. The failures that work quite well, are they'll kick in and break through this outer zone. Those are the ones that just accelerate in price. Um, and then the arrow fired yesterday for you live. And then um, here up to date this morning, we had a slingshot at 522, another slingshot arrow at 531, another slingshot arrow at last night at what, 615. And we had a slingshot here this morning up to date at 416 in the morning. So that's up to date what we're looking at so far in the slings. Um, it works like that in all markets uh, right across the board. So all your markets are working the same way. This is the trap I'm talking about, the, the, the trap in price. This is you, If you don't want to trade the failures per se unless they break the lower zone, this is called a trap trade. And I love it because you got resting buy stops right above it and, and the price likes to explode. Uh, this has happened. You have a lot of these on NQ. If you're an NQ trader, watch this setup. 
like you don't even have to even trade failure trades if you don't want to watch the failure form if it flips right to a slingshot without breaking the lower zone boom acceleration in price you're probably going to see a lot of these during the day on the nasdaq like yesterday and the day before um, you'll see a trap in price uh, here a trap in price again you had a failure right into the sling price just gets crushed to the downside so that's a setup that you can actually do uh, watch if you have your failure arrows here again trap and price a failure comes in doesn't break the zone you get a slingshot boom right to the upside so it's a good way to catch order flow uh, with trend I love that setup so watch for that as it develops it works on crude oil the same way um, crude uh, we had a failure let's see look at some action in crude yesterday here's another one trap and price the failure forms against zone trend arrow opposite arrow comes in boom crash in price because of the trap um, here is a slingshot failure that broke the outer zone continuation slingshot slingshot so um, news just came out at 8 30 we're going to start getting a little more active here right now um, not as active as tomorrow will be but I want to show you we got five minutes before this thing settles down I want to show you what I'm working on on a strategy let's get the strategy here rolling uh, let me pull up the strategy. Now the strategy has the same um, has the same um, same setups. First wave slingshot mode, mode failure. I have a failure click here. Um, I'll, I'll go over all this stuff, but I got start and stop times for you. I got a kill time from 8:25, 8:35, where if you're long or shorter position into news like right now, you don't want to hold that. It kills the position. Um, I have. I have it where we can adjust the bull and bear right here on all our setups, which I'll go over with you guys. But let me just toggle this on and show you what it's done this week. Just now, this is the failure trade by itself. Um, the failure trade. Remember, past performance is not indicative of future results. We all know that, but it just shows you the power of the system. Uh, what is done this week? I just got this done yesterday. Uh, all these bells and whistles added. It's been about an hour and a half with the programmer. Um, so a lot of this stuff got done yesterday um, where I took off the add-on trades and all this stuff. It cleaned up the program a lot. But here is a failure trade yesterday, uh, yesterday's failure trade, um, and I got the ATR zones trailing. Um, here's another failure trade yesterday. Uh, here's a trade a yesterday morning, failure trade at 11 o'clock, failure trade at 10 o'clock. Uh, this is all this week, guys. So these are the failures that's happened. Here's a failure trade happened at 3 in the morning. Failure trade happened at 10 in the morning. So you can see this is what has ha transpired this week. These are failure trades, right? So what you would do is you would just click on that, and that would be your failure trade to do that. As far as the um, – uh, so let's get this off here, first of all, because I know we want to start watching price action. Let's go into a slingshot then. The slingshot, we'll look since Monday, the slingshot trades, if you put that on, you're going to get a different type of setup. Now you're going to get more setups. Now you're going to get more setup because the slingshot comes up more often than a failure trade. And I'm actually putting the trap trade in also as a toggle switch. The trap trade's being put in as a toggle switch. Let's look up into today. This is today's action so far. It got long here where the arrow fired on the algorithm this morning. It's still trailing, has a trailing stop loss. It got long at 42.69, uh, got out of positions here, here, and then um, you got that, that trailing ATR. So, but that is the ATR. Uh, these are the, this is where the, um, that's actually a stop right there. Um, this is the zone, I mean the um, slingshots. So you can see I cleaned the code up where it doesn't take multiple trades now, where now it's not taking add-on trades. I took that out, and it cleaned the code up tremendously where it's just taking these where you want to look for uh, possible setups uh, for slingshot trades. It really cleaned up the code really good uh, working with um, uh, our programmer yesterday for an hour and a half cleaned this code up. That's why I took the room down. So. Um, a lot of different features I added. We're getting, I'm getting really close to releasing this now. I just got to, I've added so many bells and whistles to this uh, yesterday. Um, now we can change, like I said, now we can change, obviously we can change all four of these. 
but now what I can do is I can change the slingshot. So let's say you don't want to enter off of a uh, 80, uh, getting above 80 down below 20. I, I can put this number in at 40, and that's where it would enter off of a slingshot on the way back down, right? So I can move the arrows where I want to move them, customizable. I can customize my percent Ds, 21, 7. You can customize them. Um, also, I added uh, three times, start time, 1, 2, and 3. Um, I got three different start times, kill time, stop. I got my four targets. I've got my daily goal to stop it, daily stop to stop trading the program. I got my four ATRs that will trade against that. Um, I did a break even plus one. Everybody's getting stopped out after breaking plus one. I put this to break even plus two. So these are break even plus two now. So wherever your break two is, you know, if you got four ticks and then eight ticks on the S&P, it won't go break even until eight ticks. That holds runners more that I found. So that will help you out as far as that goes also. So we add a lot of bells and whistles to the strategy. Uh, this, what I'm trying to do is emulate the indicator when it fires. As you can tell, this is where the indicator fired here. See the arrow fired here. That's where the audible alert comes on your computer. Arrow fired here. Audible alert comes on your computer. Arrow fired there. Audible alert comes on your computer. So just like where these arrows come up at this level, right, that's where your strategy can form. Now, you can come up with your own targets, your own stops, your own trail. You know, I'm just getting the code to work in the direction. Like I said, obviously past performance is not indicative of future results, but if I look at this week, we'll look at the performance on both of these guys just from this week and me just coding this to see what they did here. Let me turn this one on too. Just to see what type of uh, drawdown we're getting and stuff like that. So this is the, we're about about 93% efficiency just off of a, um, off the time frame. If I look at the days, that's a performance that's done so far off the four contracts. That that's this week. Um, this is your draw your your drawdown. Where's a drawdown at? Uh, your drawdown on four contracts. This is a big contract, obviously. You can do the micros also. So that was the obviously past performance is not indicative of future results. Remember that. I'm just telling you, I'm showing you what it's done this week so far. And then we go to um, it's done well in the failure trades off the 120 20. Um, that's done quite well off the failure trades. Uh, so this week it hasn't had a failure trade today yet, working on a failure trade. And I'll keep you guys posted on that. So, you know, it just it shows you the power of the system. Um, how these zones work very, very well together. Um, you just, you know, we'll, we'll, I'll give you the standard levels for these. Uh, you know, you can come up with your own price targets. We're an educational room. We try to give you an edge with this software, and you guys come up with your own targets, your own trail, your own stop. This is a Rinko size of a 12020. This is an ES12020. Works really well with the failures in the in the. Um, and the uh, slingshots. So that's what we're working on now. So I'm getting close to releasing this. Like I said, I uh, had a lot of work on it yesterday. I cleaned a lot of the code up. What I wanted to do is, well, let's say you want this arrow to fire a little sooner. So these slingshot trades do one thing. So the small oscillator, when it comes below, when it comes below here, below 80, it has to do that to get a snapback. But then you can dictate where this arrow fires. Now, I, I have the standard firing where it's going to fire when you come up above the threshold right there of 65, but you can make it 80 right there if you want, or you can make it where it comes down and you can let it come down below 20 and fire coming back up through 40 bull to get two more bars earlier if you want. If you, let's say that you're you're back testing on uh, or or you're forward testing and you you find it to be more beneficial, you can do that. I, I'm giving you guys the, the the other way. I hard coded it and talking to Phil. Phil's helping me test these programs out, and I appreciate Phil helping me test these programs out. He's a member in the room. Before I release this, we actually have a member testing this for you. Um, so um, I, I like it because he wanted it to be 
open coded so you can move these where you want them if it's going to help you out in your overall uh, you know uh, performance so I'll have the standard like I show in the room here but then you can go into the indicator and strategy and then you can change you can change um, you can change them oops where's it at we can change the bull bear it's like I got 6540s my bull bear in here right so let me get this off here so I got my bull bear at 60 and 4 where is it at? where's it at right here I got my bull bear at 60 and 40 line because I I've tested it over 30 years that's that's great levels for me so but you can change those and I'm I'm making this uh, in layman's terms, uh, this will be overbought to uh, uh, change it. I'm changing these two. I'm sorry, overbought one a bull, one a bear, and I'm putting bull beside it. This will be bear, and this will be bull. So you guys understand what a bull and bear is on the lines. I'm adding that to the code today, actually, so you guys understand the bull and bear numbers to put in, so you don't get confused about what an overbought one a and all that stuff is. I'm making it very simple for you. So everything is pre-built into the these codes as far as that goes.